Fern Britton has avoided wading into the ongoing controversy surrounding her former This Morning co-host Philip Schofield by boycotting his tell-all BBC interview. The 65-year-old previously hosted the hit ITV daytime show with Phil from 2002 to 2009, and the pair enjoyed a close friendship on and off set. However, their relationship turned sour when Fern decided to leave this morning, and it was reported she had quit following a frosty feud with Phil which ended their alliance, with Holly Willoughby replacing her. Mom of four Fern has so far refused to comment on the scandal surrounding Phil after he confessed to lying about an affair he had with a young production assistant on this morning. In an effort to clear the air, the father of two chose to sit down for an emotional tell-all interview on Friday with BBC reporter Amol Rajan, and explained the details of the relationship with the unnamed man. Looking broken and depleted, Phil apologized profusely as he insisted the affair was over, and he had not done anything untoward in the program. Instead of supporting her former colleague, Fern opted to watch the hit Apple TV comedy Ted Lasso and took to social media on Friday to heap praise on the show, which stars Jason Sudeikis. Just watched the final hashtag Ted Lasso with Cuppa in bed. Tears rolling down my face but such a smile in my heart. What a show what a cast what a story, she posted on Twitter. She then engaged in some sweet replies to her followers, as they agreed the football comedy was the best feel-good show ever. Late last month. Fern seemingly alluded to the controversy surrounding Phil's extramarital affair and told her followers she had been speaking to former This Morning host Eamon Holmes, who has been vocal in publicly criticizing the disgraced TV star. Unexpected calls from old mates are so lovely. Just had the loveliest catch up with at Eamon Holmes, she wrote. I think we have known each other since the 80s when we were babies. Shooting the breeze, Fern cryptically added. In his interview with the BBC, Phil looked exhausted and frail as he apologized for his actions, and said his two daughters were watching over him constantly as they were worried about his mental health. I would say to everyone, to my family, my friends, my work colleagues, the public, to ITV, my management company, to everyone that I lied to, that I am desperately sorry, he said. Melting